Game Design Ed here, and I'm back playing around with Puzzle Explorer. Today, I want to show you how to build a Twitch based game. In Puzzle Explorer, the game design curriculum begins with simple maze design in the Yucatan Peninsula. In Antarctica, we learned how to build a logic puzzle. Now, here we are in the Himalayas learning how to build a Twitch based game. And again, there are easy to follow step by step instructions to help you learn how. So, what is a Twitch based game? A Twitch-based game is a game that challenges the player's dexterity and reaction time. Twitch refers to the quick actions the player must take. And it's a Twitch-based game because the game requires the player to have quick reactions, as opposed to turn-based games in which one player takes a turn and has no time limit to do so, and then the other player takes their turn. For example, Space Invaders is a Twitch-based game, while Chess is a turn-based game. Speed Chess, interestingly, is a mix between the two. Basically, while logic puzzles, as you remember, challenge your mind, Twitch-based games challenge your dexterity and reaction time. So, let's build a Twitch-based game. For a Twitch-based game, you don't have to have much of a maze. Of course you can, but you don't need it. I'm going to start with a big open area that the player will have to walk through. Let's force the player to walk all the way down to the bottom of the game board, and then walk up to the top of the game board on the other side. In this big space in the middle, let's add some rhinos. As you may remember from my video how to build a puzzle with two enemies, rhinos just pace back and forth, changing directions when they run into something. We called them pacer enemies. Let's also add a tiger. As you remember from my video how to make a puzzle that has three enemies, the tiger will chase you if you get within a certain number of spaces from the tiger or if you're in the same row or column as the tiger. We call the tiger a chaser enemy. Let's also add a boulder that the player can play around with. If the player moves the boulder, the rhinos could bump into it and move different directions. Also, it could be used to block the tiger. So let's test that out. Let's block the tiger in the tiger's den so we won't get chased. See how we have to move pretty quickly to avoid the charging rhinos? That's the twitch based part of the game. So we made it through. Let's make this twitch based game a little more difficult. Let's add cameras that the player has to collect. Now, instead of only having to run from one side to the other, now the player has to make two additional stops along the way, keeping them in this large space in the middle where all the action happens. Let's block the tiger in. Oh no, they're surrounding me. Oh, they got me. Uh, let's try again. That was close. Now all the rhinos are at the top. I'm not sure if I'll make it out of here. Oh, nice. So let's try it once without blocking the tiger.
Look out. That was intense. So you see how we set up a few enemies in this level to test the player's reaction time. That's how to build a Twitch-based game. I'm Game Design Ed. Thanks for playing.